We're gonna go to Highland Park Bowl, so hopefully that's cool. I haven't been to Highland Park in girl in like a year. Let's not talk about that. Bella. Bella. Penny pasta. Penny. Come here. Come here, Penny. So I am playing um, doctor to Miss Pasta because uh, she needs her medication. So I just put it in her mouth. Good girl. That's a good girl, Penny Pasha. She hasn't been wanting to eat or anything, so I'm gonna have to make her eat and take her pills. And I've been giving her water <clears throat> using the same syringe that I use for her medicine and just put it in the corner of her mouth right here and then squeeze it and she gets it in her mouth. I want her to get dehydrated. She slept with me last night, even though I'm so allergic. Chris is like, I'm surprised you let her sleep with you. Like, I gotta do what I had to do. I'll get hives, but I'm not gonna die. And I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Good girl. The sick, helping the sick, huh, Penny Pasta? My sweet girl. That's a good girl, Penny. Yeah, Beastle over here like jealous as heck. Chill out, Beastle. <clears throat> so I wasn't sure how like scary I was gonna look when I turned this camera on. Now <clears throat> this is the reason why I haven't been vlogging because my voice has been going in and out, in and out, and I've been so sick. My face hurts. When I press down on the bridge of my nose. You can hear the mocos like move, like the boogers move in my nose, and it's so gross. Um, so yeah, I just have not <clears throat> been vlogging very much because I'm sick. There's, I mean, I, my whole vlog would be nothing but me complaining that I feel like crap. So I decided to take a few days off. I think today might be the worst day, but um, weirdly enough, I have the most energy. <clears throat> worst day as far as my congestion goes, because... I'm congested here in my face, <clears throat> my throat, and also in my chest. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to catch you guys up on something. If you guys follow my mom on Instagram, you guys probably seen her um, post about going to the emergency. Yesterday we went to go get our nails done, but before we actually got our nails done, my mom had like a really like freak accident where she tripped over... Um, like a parking block or something. I don't know. It was like really, it was like such a dumb fall, but it could have happened to anybody. She tripped over it and couldn't catch her balance and she hit face first into the floor. And I saw her hit her face on the floor and I just freaked out. I thought for sure she had broken every bone in her face. She's old, so I thought like first she was gonna turn into dust. And second, like, she was just going to die. Like, she would have just smashed her whole face. Like, that's, like, my number one fear. When I'm in the car and someone else is driving, I always lock the door because I have always have this, like, thought or vision in my head. The door is going to fling open. I'm going to fall out and smash my face on the floor. I know it's so weird, but it's true. I always have that, like, <clears throat> thought in my head. So, anyways, my mom fell. I started crying, and, because that was my mom, like, oh my god, my mom's on the floor, I'm like, oh my god, mom, are you okay? And, um, she was like, stop crying, help me up, so I helped her get up off the floor, I felt bad, because she was like, stop making this about you, but I was just such in, a, like, a panic mode, I wasn't, like, that person that you wish you would have an accident with, where they were calm and kept you calm, like, no, she stood up, and, like, the she has split her nose open right here. Like, she had to hit the floor so hard that I'm guessing her nose either went like this or I think it went like this. And it split right here. So she looked at me. She's like, I'm fine. And then blood started pouring out of the crack of her nose. <clears throat> it was so awful. I took her to the emergency room. And as I was driving her to the emergency room, I was having such bad anxiety, anxiety that she had broken her nose that I was, like, gagging and about to throw up on myself while driving us to the emergency. I was like, they're going to need to end up helping us both because I thought I was going to have, like, a legit heart attack, panic attack, because panic attack, it was so bad. I was so, like, upset for her. She didn't cry at all. My mom is such a beast. Like, I wish I was more like her. I cry about everything all the time. But anyways, we were in and out so quick. Um, <clears throat> I think we were at Kaiser for maybe about an hour, 
And then they treated her really quick. They had x-rays and everything. She just has, like, a... Now she has a crooked nose. She has a shifted septum. When she fell, she fell so hard that she moved her nose, the bridge of her nose, over. So it's not, like, rocky style, but it's still, like, slightly dented. And I have my mom's nose um, for the most part. I think, like, how small her nose is, I get that from her. But the actual shape of the tip right here, even though a lot of people accuse me of having plastic surgery, this part is my dad's. I don't know, I got a good, like, combo of my parents' nose. <clears throat> <clears throat> and Judah has my nose as well, so hopefully his nose doesn't grow any bigger than that because his dad has a larger nose than I do because <clears throat> I want him to keep his little honey nose. Um, but anyways, I'm like veering off of the story. <clears throat> She's okay. She was complaining more about the inside of her mouth and her teeth feeling loose. Like she really fell really freaking hard. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. And before we left, I was telling... Chris's mom last night because she helped she um, showed me how to make her snowball cookies and if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys probably have seen my boomerang of that <clears throat> I was telling my mom before I left as I was telling Chris's mom the story I was telling my mom mom are you sure you want to wear those shoes she was wearing like these thick platform like spice girl sandals and I'm like are you sure you want to wear those you might be I'm like I'm telling you you're gonna fall to your death I jinxed her because as soon as she got out of the like we were like heading towards the door of the salon, and boom, that's when she fell, like, at the foot of the salon, and she got up, and she, when she got up after she fell, she's like, oh my god, you just finished telling me to, to switch my shoes, I should have listened to you, but anyways, after we saw the doctor, the doctor was talking to her about, you know, all of her medical issues, and then she's like, okay, so am I good, like, are we done here, because I want to go get my nails done, the doctor's like, what the hell, you know, like, her priorities were just to get her nails done, but yeah, so I got my nails done. They're really, really short for being acrylics, but whatever. I'm trying to get used to them. I'm not sure if I like the shape. Um, I'm hoping as I type that they'll round out a little bit because they're kind of sharp for my liking. But yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm super sick, and I am editing a new video, and this is actually, like, my sick makeup routine, like, sick day get ready with me and I literally go from like <coughs> scary <coughs> to looking way better and I'm not wearing a ton of makeup that's the thing like when you're sick you can't wear like a ton of makeup because you're constantly blowing your nose your nose is going to get chapped your mocos are running onto your mouth so your lipstick is going to disappear you're closing your eyes tightly when you sneeze so your mascara is going to get all jacked up Pretty much all I do is bring a little bit of color to my face because when I get sick, my whole face gets like super uh, like light, like I'm sick. You know, you tell people are like pale. <coughs> I'm just adding color to my face. Anyways, um, today we have jujitsu. It's 7.30 right now. <coughs> we have jujitsu at 10 and then we have Christmas, uh, Chris's Christmas party. His family Christmas party is tonight. So I'm looking forward to that because they always have good food and everybody has like, you know, awesome attitude and having a good time. And there's like no drama and it's like really, really fun. So I can't wait for that tonight. <clears throat> but I'm hoping that my voice gets better because if it gets worse, I'm probably going to stay home because I'm no good for anybody right now. I don't want to get anybody sick. <coughs> All right, guys, so let's finish off. Excellent job today. Uh, class is back up on Monday. All right, let's finish up. Now, of course, master everyone. I'll right. show you. Master, towards each other. Let's bring our hands in. Top of our green. Let's have, uh, I like to stand on top. Okay? My little top. Hands in. Let's go, you guys. On three, Samba. One, two, three. Samba. <laughs> Okay, so we were supposed to go to a Christmas party, but I'm still not feeling that great. Took a shower, just ate dinner, and um, I'm still struggling <clears throat> with my throat, so we decided not to go to the Christmas party. Um, but I got this little cute package from... Um, Sally's Beauty and I wanted to do like an un like packaging with you or unwrapping or unboxing or what have you 
So in the first little tier, which is like the cutest packaging ever, right? The first tier, I'm going to open it. And I think this is going to tell you everything that's in the box. So it is um, a snowman blending sponge, um, a tree splend um, blending sponge, some macaroon lip and cheek cream, and a couple of masks. So here's the first one. So freaking cute. Um, it's not actually like a snowman sponge. Um, like it looks like a snowman in the packaging but when you turn it to the side it's just like a round sponge so I thought that was so cute you can't get enough blending sponges I feel I've got like a whole box full of them um, on my desk where I go and get ready for the day and it's actually pretty soft and squishy so you know it's gonna be a good one anytime that I open up the packaging and I feel that this the sponges are too hard hard like a rock it's gonna be no good how tiny this little tree is. Don't be fooled. When you add water to these guys, they expand so much and they get huge. So these are really cute, like little stocking stuffers. Here are the little macaroon um, lip and cheek balms or creams. Oh, there's a few of them. That's cool. And... Oh, a gift card to Sally Beauty. That's so nice. I have no idea how much is on this card, but that is so nice. Oh, it doesn't say on here, does it? Oh, there's a ton of things. I guess this is exactly what's going to be inside of it. So that's so cool. Let's see. Okay. So, um, I don't know about you guys, but I love saving packaging because this is going to make a good... This is going to make like a good reboxing. I thought that was so cute. And I love that they didn't tape the boxes so it's easy access and easy repackaging. This one has brushes and curling iron so it's really cute for um, anybody in the industry. This one has... It's called Blitzy. It's like a little makeup kit. This is cute and it also hangs on the tree like an ornament. A couple of masks in here, which I'm going to put one of these on because my face is going still like really crazy. And it's actually a pill-off. One's avocado, oatmeal, and clay. Um, this one's a pill-off one, and this one is Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask, which I think I'm going to end up putting this one on. It's so heavy. Oh. And it com comes with this little guy. You know, when I started um, YouTube videos, I bought this and it smells amazing. So if you guys not have not seen or heard of this product, it's called Turn Up the Heat. And it's a flat iron protection. Or you can use it when you're curling your hair as well. It's just an oily um, product that you spray in your hair and it gives you shine and then added heat protection. And then last but not least... In this big box, there are a set of china glaze, and this is a cute little um, nail kit set. And then also, what is this? Nine piece lipstick set. I think I got this at um, the Dallas event. So these are actually really cool gifts to give out to people in your family or your girlfriends. This one here is a Face Secrets six piece cosmetics brush set and the little bristles are purple. I that was kind of cool. And that's it for that. I feel like there's nothing cute going on about my throat in like this whole situation right here. Um, earlier Chris got me um, a pumpkin spice latte with soy milk, which is like my favorite, but he forgot to tell them only one pump of the pumpkin spice sugar or whatever the heck it is because it can, it's too sweet for me. <coughs> but today I was not complaining. It tastes so good. Probably because he brought it to me. It was a surprise. And he also got me another box of Mucinex because I really, really needed it. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to take another dosage of that before I go to sleep because it really does help so much. 
tomorrow morning, um, Jude is going to have another tournament. He plays second place, um, his first tournament ever, and he's only been in wrestling for a month, so it's pretty good. Um, so we'll see how well he does tomorrow. Hopefully, um, he doesn't let his, his nerves get the best of him because he f kind of freaks out on the mat, which I would myself, honestly. Um, and then later on tomorrow after church, we're planning to do a double date. Um, Chris and I and his, one of his coworkers and Janelle, one of my girlfriends, we're going to go to Highland Park Bowl. So hopefully that's cool. I haven't been to Highland Park in girl in like a year. Let's not talk about that. But yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.